So we're going to be doing now the first loop in Python. If you run this code right now, you'll see that it counts, counts from 0 to 9. Look. If you run it, one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, until 9. And that is because a, a, a loop, it's a way, when you, when you create a branch like this, let me remove all of this and say ranch and I'm gonna store this my ranch I'm gonna say my ranch this is gonna be my ranch a range so here when I print it if I print this you'll see that it's generating basically an array or a list of numbers from 0 to 9 if I put in my range that I don't want it till 10 and I want it till 20 let's say and I run it it will generate from 0 to 19 because remember that in a list a Python list and any other language is the same it starts at 0 it doesn't start at 1 so it's always 0 1 2 3 until until 19 even though you have 20 here so the length minus 1 basically the length of a list is always I'm sorry, the last element of a list will be the length minus one. And that's tricky because all the junior developers always make mistakes about that. They forget that I have to put the minus one. So having this loop here, if I say now in, in Python, for every num, of short for number basically, in my range, I want to print that. So I open a scope with a column. Remember the column is to open a, a scope so you can indent. And now everything is inside the four. So, and I'm gonna print now num like that. Let's run it. And it's printing from one to 20. You see, zero, one, from one to 19 actually, because it's minus one. So that's like the, bas the basic way of looping in, in Python. But you, you have in this exercise, it's saying that there's a function start counting that goes from i in range. It doesn't have to be num. In the previous example, I had it like this num. It doesn't really matter what you put. You can put here poopoo. -poo. Doesn't really matter. You know, from poopoo -poo in range. And now poopoo -poo will be every item in range. So one, 0, 1, 2, 3. But one at a time. So here, if I put my i here, it will go and run the line number 3. It will be run it as many times as items are in the array that and the list that was generated by range okay so it will basically run it 10 times and then it will return i so let's run it for a second and it's running 10 times as you can see and each of them is printing i so so fix this so that it comes up to 11 you'll see 101 on green afterwards important there's your exercise so i have to fix it until so that it counts up to 11. Right now it's counting up to nine. So 10, 11, I have to add two to it. So two. So let's see, to 11. But from, yeah, up to 11. Let's see if it works. Yep, amazing. 